How often do we appreciate the blessings in our lives? In this time of the coronavirus that has changed, hindered, and even devastated some of us, are we focusing on the bad or the good, the temporary or the permanent? Whether in difficult times or seasons of abundance, how often do we take things, people, and overall blessings for granted? This is something I think about every time I read the account recorded in Second Chronicles 9. King Solomon was the richest man who ever lived, and he was also the wisest. The Queen of Sheba heard of his fame and went to see him for herself. She was amazed and proclaimed that the things she saw and heard were overwhelmingly greater than she anticipated. Then she said this, recorded in Second Chronicles 9.7, Happy are your wives, happy are these your servants who continually stand before you and hear your wisdom. But were they? Or had they gotten so used to hearing him that they just stopped listening? They had a front row seat to unparalleled, life-changing wisdom, yet they probably got to the point where they tuned him out. How often do we do that? Did the Lord bless us with a wise husband or friend? Maybe someone who is a gifted singer or artist, an individual who is a whiz with finances or can make or fix just about anything. Do we appreciate them or take them for granted? Let's take a moment and think about this and then be thankful for our many countless blessings.